Welcome to Read Aloud with Mr. Paul. I'm so glad you could be here. Be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a single story. Today we'll be reading Eyes That Speak to the Stars by Joanna Ho, illustrated by Zheng Ho. Eyes That Speak to the Stars by Joanna Ho, illustrated by Zheng Ho. The other day, when Baba picked me up from school, I didn't run in for a hug the way I usually do. I stared at my toes, where it was safe. What's wrong? Baba asked, and all my hurt tumbled out. Kurt drew a picture of our friends, I said. He pointed at a person with eyes like two lines stretched across his face and told me, That one is you but it didn't look like me at all. When we got home, Baba stood with me in front of a mirror and said, Your eyes rise to the skies and speak to the stars. The comets and constellations show you their secrets, and your eyes can foresee the future, just like mine. Baba's eyes that rise to the skies and speak to the stars are filled with all the surprises he can't wait to give me throughout the day. When he lifts me above his head and cries, Ready for takeoff! Before running through the house like we're headed toward the heavens, his eyes shine like runway lights and tell me, Lift your arms, my son. You're going to soar above the clouds. Baba always looks up and his eyes are just like Agong's. Agong's eyes that rise to the skies and speak to the stars gaze into the distance like they're looking at the world through lenses of time. The voices of ancestors whisper in his ear, speaking in lilting languages of rice paddies climbing mountains like stairways to the sky. Mazu's miracles showing mercy from on high and mango milk from night markets lit with bulbs of light. Agong has an answer for every question I ask on our early morning walks. But when I hug him goodnight, he cups my face in his hands and looks at me like I am the only answer that matters. Agong holds the wisdom of generations, and his eyes are just like Didi's. Didi's eyes that rise to the skies and speak to the stars are closed so long I grow an inch waiting for him to wake up. When Didi's eyelids finally flutter open, I orbit his crib, making funny faces and singing silly songs, until his laugh grows so big it spreads up his cheeks and makes his eyes squeeze shut again. He looks at me like I'm the world, but he is the sun, filling my days with light. Didi's eyes that rise to the skies and speak to the stars are just like mine. My eyes shine like sunlit rays that break through dark and doubt. They lift their sights on paths of flight that soar above the clouds. My eyes gaze into space and glimpse trails of light, inviting me into impossibilities. The comets and constellations show me their secrets because I am the emperor of my own destiny. I read a brighter future in the stars and will fight to make it reality. My eyes that rise to the skies and speak to the stars are visionary. They are Baba and Agong and Didi. They are me. And they are powerful.
thank you so much for joining me for Read Aloud with Mr. Paul. Until next time, discover the wonder in a book. Pick one up. Take a look. For more classic stories, like and subscribe to Read Aloud with Mr. Paul. Thanks again.